Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. Season 3, Episode 8 Abraham's Daughter Hari-hari besar membuatku berpikir bahwa sejarah tak mencatat nama-nama mereka yang ada di kaki piramid. Lembar sejarah bahkan tidak memberi ruang bagi mereka yang ada di tingkat dua piramid, apalagi di kaki. Di Kurusetra, sejarah hanya mencatat nama sang jenderal Gatot Kaca yang dadanya terburai oleh senjata konta. Sejarah hanya mencatat nama sang resi Bisma yang terbaring gagah di paribahan anak panah. Sejarah hanya mencatat nama sang permaisuri Drupadi yang keramas dengan darah dari kepala pecah sang Raden Dursasana. Sejarah tidak mencatat nama para prajurit yang telanjang kaki melangkah paling depan dihantam pasukan gajah. Sejarah tak mencatat nama para juru masak yang berkeringat di tenda dapur umum yang gerah. Sejarah tak mencatat nama para perawat yang tanpa lelah merawat korban yang raga maupun jiwanya terluka parah. Begitu juga sejarah tak mencatat nama anak perempuan Abraham. Karena ia bukan Ishak yang dikorbankan oleh Abraham atau Ismail yang dikorbankan oleh Ibrahim. Baik Abraham maupun Ibrahim, nama sang anak perempuan tak terdengar di telinga kita. Namun lirik lagu Abraham's Daughter dari Arcade Fire menceritakan bagaimana di bukit itu sang anak perempuan ini mengangkat busur panahnya untuk mencegah adiknya dijadikan korban. Bahkan ia berbantahan dengan malaikat. Ia tak hiraukan kemarahan malaikat, hatinya teguh ingin menyelamatkan adiknya dari pengorbanan yang tak ia pahami. Lagu Abraham's Daughter diciptakan oleh Arcade Fire untuk jadi salah satu soundtrack film The Hunger Games. Film yang diangkat dari novel ini memang bercerita tentang pengorbanan anak-anak kecil untuk dijadikan hiburan bagi penguasa fasis yang memonopoli bukan hanya sumber daya, juga narasi kebenaran. Seperti Katniss Everdeen, karakter utama di film ini, anak perempuan Abraham mengangkat busurnya untuk melawan pengorbanan manusia. Karena kalaupun Anda mengaku diperintah oleh Tuhanmu untuk mengorbankan manusia, apalagi anak-anak kecil ini, pastikan kulawan. Siapakah yang menjamin kau benar-benar mendengar perintah Tuhanmu? Siapakah yang menjamin itu benar-benar malaikat utusan Tuhanmu yang memberikan bisikan? Siapakah yang menjamin anak-anak ini akan diganti menjadi domba pada detik yang menentukan? Demi imanmu, kenapa orang lain yang kau korbankan? Sudahkah kau mengorbankan dirimu sendiri, hartamu sendiri, tenagamu sendiri, keringatmu sendiri, nyawamu sendiri? Selama itu tiada yang kau lakukan, busur ini akan terangkat menghadangmu korbankan orang lain. Begitu banyak yang ingin diucapkan oleh anak perempuan Abraham, namun bibirnya keras terkatup. Sekeras jari tangannya membidikan busurnya ke arah malaikat yang tak mengetahui namanya. And when his sword up, raised for the slaughter, Abraham's daughter raised her bow. How darest you, child, defy your father? You better let young Isaac go. From the lyrics of Abraham's daughter by Arcade Fire. The next one will be the English version of the story. Public holidays made Yoga think that history never records the names of those in the base of the pyramid. History pages do not even give space for those in the second layer of the pyramid, let alone those in the base. At Kurusetra, history only recorded the demise of the general Gatot Kaca, whose chest was pierced open and spilled by the weapon Konta. History only recorded the great sage Bisma, who heroically laid down on the ground his body pierced by dozens of arrows. History only recorded the Queen Drupadi, who washed her hair with the blood from the smashed head of Prince Dursasana. 
History did not record the names of the soldiers who walked barefooted in the front lines and were trampled by the elephant troops. History did not record the names of the cooks sweating away in the stiflingly hot public kitchen tents. History did not record the names of the caregivers who worked tirelessly treating those heavily injured both in body and soul. History also did not record the name of Abraham's daughter as she was not Isaac who was sacrificed by Abraham nor Ishmael who was sacrificed by Ibrahim. From both the stories of either Abraham or Ibrahim the name of the daughter was never heard of. Nevertheless, the lyrics of the song Abraham's Daughter from Arcade Fire tells the story of how at the top of that hill, the daughter raised her bow to prevent her brother from being sacrificed. She even argued with the angel. She did not heed the angel's wrath. Her heart was set in saving her brother from a sacrifice she did not understand. The song Abraham's Daughter was written by Arcade Fire to be one of the soundtracks from the movie The Hunger Games in 2012. The film that was adapted from the same titled novel told the story of young children being sacrificed for the purpose of the amusement of the fascist rulers, who not only monopolized all resources, but also the narration of truth. Just like Katniss Everdeen, the main character of the movie, Abraham's daughter raised her bow to fight against human sacrifice. Because even if you said that your God commanded you to sacrifice your fellow humans, especially young children, this is something that could not be tolerated. Who guarantees that one really hears the word of their God? Who guarantees that it is truly the angel of God who whispers in your ear? Who guarantees that these children will be replaced by lambs at the final crucial moment? For the sake of your faith, why must another person be sacrificed? Has one sacrificed his or her own self, riches, power, sweat, or life? As long as none of that was done, a bow will always be raised to stop others from being sacrificed. So many words wanted to be spoken by Abraham's daughter, but none came out from her tightly closed lips. As tight as her fingers, aiming her bow to the angel who did not know her name. And when his sword up, raised for the slaughter, Abraham's daughter raised her bow. How darest you, child, defy your father? You better let young Isaac go. From the lyrics of Abraham's Daughter by Arcade Fire. This is a reflection from Yoga Adi Trisna, who is from and currently lives in Jakarta. He is an activist, a thinker, the founder and chief creative officer of Barakar Komunikasi or Rooted Communication Advertising Agency. Yoga and Hari Prast made headlines as they voluntarily did a campaign for the Indonesia presidential election in 2014. The success of this campaign took a big part in Jokowi's victory. More about his production and contribution can be found in his website, barakar.com. As this is one of our additions, as we are still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we'd like to extend our deep condolences to those who have lost their loved ones. This is definitely a very difficult time for everyone, and we can only hope that soon we can all heal as nature flourishes. Probably one day when we look back, we learn that how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. I'm Natasha, your host of Speak Indo Podcast, and we would like to thank our guest speakers for sharing their story. If you like the story, please share it with your friends and family. The transcript of the story is available at our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. You can subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any upcoming episodes. These are our stories. What is yours?